Afternoon guys. Well, as you can see, I've been rather busy in here. I'm nearly done. I've got a lot more to do. Well, I thought I'd better tackle this room as I was running out of space. That box of bike bits can sit in the outside cupboard for the... well, out of the way. I was going to say for the time being. It will be for the time being until uh, I sort it out, but I can sort that out another day. I'm not doing that today. I was going around collecting dirty washing as well, putting a pile there. I haven't got a basket to put it in because Mum's got the basket. Uh, putting up the adapters and putting them where they're supposed to be. And we're getting there. A few things to shunt around, a few more things to move and a few things to throw away. Oh, bollocks. I'm just going to throw out that case because I'm not likely to use it for anything. <laughs> I was going to put it in that bin bag, but I've already done it up. So, I'm going that one out my way. <laughs> a couple of little bits of scrap. That could go under the bed. That's the power adapter for the dinky dell up there. My little dinky dell. Work light for the bin. So it doesn't work. Oh, this works. Ish. <laughs> Someone's replaced the bulb in this dome because it's supposed to flash and it doesn't. In my, I might actually have one in my pot of bulbs, actually. I've got a little pot of uh, um, torch bulbs and bicycle light bulbs, etc., etc., in this cupboard box there to go in the bin. There is it, it's in here somewhere, there it is. See? Like this. It's got all my dinky little torch bulbs and things in and I may, or may not, have a flash bulb in here. Uh, I'm not sure if that one is. And I've got one this shape that uh, is, but I'm not sure if that's the one in a little fluorescent tube. So I've got all sorts in here. I've probably got six volt torch bulbs in here as well. Oh, what's that one? No, I know I've got a little one like this as well that flashes. Yeah, it's just a case of going through that and finding one. I'm sure I've got one in there. Somewhere. <laughs> They're just uh, bulbs I've taken out of old bike lights and torches and everything that don't work. But the bulbs are still good. Perhaps, you know, that lights and things where, I don't know, the battery compartment's too corroded. Because some numpties left the batteries in. Ah. Uh, what's <laughs> I suppose they're not really numpties, you know, people probably forget about them. You know, they throw the bike light or the torch or the TV remote or whatever it is that's got batteries in it in the attic because they no longer use that device and forget about it and then before you know it, for a couple of years you've got leaky batteries. Especially um, cheap ones. Cheap ones are the worst. Sorry, just reading a reply from a friend. It's good, that. He's only a hundred yards up the road and we talk on Facebook. <laughs> the wonders of modern technology. i uh, just got a few things to do here. I was going to take my Toshiba Tecra to the car boot and see if I could get a tenner for that. But then I realised I don't actually have an adapter for that, because the 15 volt adapter actually goes with the old grey one I've got down here, the old Toshiba down there, so I can't really get rid of that adapter, so I'm stuck with it. Uh, I don't know, I've got a box of bits under the cat's bed, yes this box is the cat's bed, although he's not in it at the moment. Uh, a box 
lots of bits here I've collected up for the car boot. There's a few bike bits. Again, I'm not sure about the boots because I don't know if Mum wanted to keep those or not. So I picked them up for Mum. So I think they're her size. They definitely won't go on my feet. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put them in the car boot box and if Mum wants to keep them then they can just go back in the back of the car. Sky remote I might throw in the 50p box. I really need to find some bits to throw in that 50p box because uh, that seems to be quite popular. For some reason I think people see the sign on it that says 50, everything in box 50p and they think, oh bargains. Boom, and then straight in. Um, we've got three DVD flyers for the car boot, but we don't have remotes, and that seems to be the reason why, after a month, we've still got them. They work perfectly fine. It's just that, well, I know my one doesn't have a remote, because it didn't come with a remote when I got it. Not that I can actually remember where I got it from. <laughs> and, uh... So I'll probably bring it back here and use it as a spare, actually. Um, but as far as the two my mum and my sister put on the car boot, I am uh, don't know if they've got remotes, because, well, they probably have, and they're probably buried at mum's somewhere. <laughs> Heck only knows if they have, so we're not going to bother lugging them around anymore. We're going to take them off... Oh, pardon me. We're going to take them off the stall... Uh, yeah, it won't be much longer in here. I've got sausages cooking. Because I'm getting hungry. I keep meaning to put this poxy light in that cupboard. I've walked past it enough times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to do some extra testing on the uh, radio up there. I love me old stuff. Hopefully, we're going to do another car boot Friday and Saturday. We'll probably, hopefully, we'll do all three. Um, I don't mind pitching in for a pitch fee at least once, because obviously I get paid tomorrow. Yay! And actually, Mum wants to borrow some, but uh, yeah, I've got used to it now. It's not her fault, it's just money is so tight at the minute. And besides, Mum did help me out yesterday. It was like a pillock. I spent my last £10 worth of cash on all this computer stuff, which turned out to be a pile of shit. Unless I can repair some. <laughs> well, most of it was, anyway. I got a few bits out of it, which I suppose might be my tenner's worth if I bought the same bits separately on eBay or something, so... I think I'm just more disappointed that none of these boards work. I don't know about this hard drive, I can't remember. I'll have to test that again in one of the hard drive caddies. But, uh... The hard drive caddies I got, they worked. I don't know what they would cost you on eBay. Probably no less than £5 each, so I suppose I got my money's worth there. Uh, there's a couple of other bits I got as well. Video cards are all junk, they don't work. I don't want to stock up on video cards. Oh well. When you gamble at a car boot, you either win some or you lose some, so... But yeah, anyway. Because I lucked out with these computer bits, because my initial plan was to uh, keep a couple for my Windows 98 and 95 projects, and uh, sell the rest on eBay if they worked. But uh, that plan sort of went to shit. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Um, but there is, however, a lot of capacitors on here, which, well, they look healthy, so I'm going to salvage them. <laughs> before I um, ditch the boards, because then I could use those to repair other motherboards. 
to replace cats that I know are suspect. I suppose physical size, I'm going to take these caps off here as well. I suppose physical size doesn't matter with the cap, so long as it's got the same rating. You know, you get tall ones, short ones, and they can all be the same rating, just a different physical bloody size. So, yeah, these ones do look okay. So I'll salvage those because I know this board is dead as a doornail. So I'm just going to take the battery out, take the jumpers off. I don't really use the jumpers, but I do find it's handy to have a pot of a few of them because if you do come across a hard drive that you need to do a jumper setting on and I'm going back old school <laughs> IDE hard drives then uh, yeah it's just handy to have a pot like that so you just go at the pot and not have to go at your hard drive stock and not that I've got much of a hard drive stock it's one thing I want to stock up on you don't have to go to your hard drive stock and faff around trying to find a jumper on another hard drive I've just got this pot here full of jumpers and a chip BIOS chip because most of these actually have a plug-in BIOS chip see there's another one well I assume that's the BIOS chip it, it could be something else I don't know I'm just assuming So I don't know why this board don't work, because the capacitors look absolutely healthy on this one. But, uh, yeah. I suppose if I can salvage caps from them, I've still got my money's worth, so... I am just disappointed because I wanted them for a project, and now I've got to continue looking. Oh, well. Shit happens, as they say. Right. I'm getting somewhere, I think. I need to just battle in this room a bit more. Uh, there's mixed weather reports for Friday, though. Mum's heard it's supposed to be nice Friday and Saturday. But uh, I heard on the radio earlier that there might be a chance of thunderstorms Friday. Hopefully not in the morning. After sort of one o'clock onwards I don't care because that's when the car boot sort of starts to wind down and we start packing up sort of one o'clock half one time so <laughs> I don't care that can do what it's like what it likes after that and, uh, at least I'll have some cash of room to go and buy something god knows what I'll come home with anything that catch my eye actually if I can get another cheap radio like that tape deck one I've got in the kitchen then I might pick that up if it's cheap enough um, as far as computer parts go if I do find a store selling motherboards again like that I'm going to check the motherboards thoroughly and anything else and if I catch eye of any suspect capacitors with um, blown tops you know when the tops get bulgy then uh, they'll get left behind I'm beginning to think I should have just sat there, sort through everything, took out the crap that really was crap and left the crap in there and then just seen what he wanted on the box. Because there was more motherboards there and if I could I'd have took the whole bloody lot. <laughs> I didn't have to care. Anyway, who knows, he might be there Friday or he might be there Sunday again, so... I suppose as they were technically 50 pence, fit, you know, for each part, well, I've probably got it less than that when I've got the box of bits, so I can't complain, really, can I? Like I said, I'm just disappointed because I can't use none of them. <laughs> right. These processors here, because I don't trust them and I can't be asked now to straighten up the pins, I'm going to use them to make a decorative wall plaque. more there, <laughs> forgot some. Um, what I'm going to do, when I'm next over Mum's, which might be tomorrow, actually it probably is likely going to be tomorrow, because I'll no doubt have to load the car up. 
Hola. Hola. I'm just moving these processes out of the way. I'll grab an off cut of plywood, because I know my stepdad's probably got several kicking around in the workshop. He's recently been playing with them um, some plywood, so no doubt I can find some. I don't want anything too big. Um, then what I'm going to do is paint the piece of plywood. Might go and uh, I was going to go green, but the pro most of the processes are green on there. But I just want to make a little uh, wall pack sort of thing to hang on the wall. I'm just going to throw those all in the bin. I like my computers. I might as well sort of deck the deck the flat out with it and that gives me something to make that is easy I was trying to figure out how to uh, fix them to the piece of wood but I think I'll hot glue them I've got a glue gun I've got glue gun so I can hot snot them glue sticks aren't a lot I've just got to get some one more turning the light on I'll just oh pardon me Let's try again. I just need to get some glue sticks tomorrow when I'm in town. Uh, glue sticks, connector strips from the light project. Got sandpaper. Somewhere up here I've got a roll of sandpaper just to rub that board down a bit. I just want to get the rough and splintery bits off. Then I'll paint it and then I can start um, building. When I remember to bring the cord to screw it up from downstairs. <laughs> uh. Um, 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 um. Anyone feeling a barbecue? Yes, I've been feeling that all season. We haven't had one yet. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? I can't remember that. That status on Facebook distracts me. I really, I really need to stay away from Facebook when I'm. Uh, oops when I'm on the camera because that distracts me too much oh, my grease tray needs to be scraped oh there it is my stepdad's had a big old roll of this in the workshop so I just unraveled some I'd rather have too much than not enough I think I've got more than enough there uh, what else can I chat about because I might as well stay on the camera and just chat until my sausages are done they're nearly done I just like to try and get mine evenly brown all round as much as I can. Uh, right. You know, I've got to test the tape deck on that. I've got a tape somewhere. Somewhere. Lurking in this shit somewhere. And some hard drives on there to take back through to the bedroom and one up there. And Once upon a time I actually had quite a large stock of IDE hard drives but over time they just fail for whatever reason or I've used them in computers or whatever so slowly it's dwindled but uh, I could do with restocking now but uh, I can't do that because I can't use eBay at the moment and I can't pay my fees yet so they're on hold until such time as I can Uh, I think if I go to Mum's tomorrow, I'm going to take this sack of bloody cable over and give to Biggles. He'll appreciate that. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I could do some more flat flex from somewhere. I don't think I've got enough for this project. I did cut a length off the other day. Now I can't remember where I threw it. I hope I haven't accidentally picked it up and put it in that sack. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do something slightly different. As I've got these spots, I'm going to put... Ah. I was thinking I was going to need junction boxes to do it, but I don't think I will. I'll just need shorter cable. I was going to um, put these spots on the end. <laughs> like that. Just to be a bit different, because I've got the spots through there, so I might as well make use of them. And that'll be my decorative 
light fitting that I could probably hang from the ceiling or something. I don't know. I don't, I'll find some sort of use for it. I'm going to put one of these um, hard drive caddies I got back on the car boot sale. Because now that I know it works, and it's complete with all cables, screws, screwdriver, and the driver disc, which with a new PC like that you don't need. So if you're using, you know, Windows 98, I suppose, you'd need the um, USB. It's, that's what it is. It's a USB driver disc for USB 1 and 2. But it is complete. It's all boxed up and ready, so I'll just throw it in there. I could probably get a couple of quid for it. So I could probably make, I know it's not a lot, but I could probably make pound fifty on it. I'll try it a couple of times, and if it doesn't sell, then, I don't know, keep it, probably. It's all worth a try, isn't it? It's worth a try at least a couple of times. Alright. My wieners are done. I'm just trying to think what else I could uh, take. No, I haven't even seen anything in any dumpsters lately that I could put on pinch out of the top and make use of. I am going to um, have a look later at the pile of wood round by the dumpsters on the car park outside uh, just to see if there's any in there I could use to make shelves with because I could do... remembering where I put the salt. Here we go. I could do with... Um, some more shelves in the lounge. They're going to be too hot to eat yet, so I'm not going to hurt them there. Yeah, I want to um, take this little one down at the top there and put something more this length up and a little bit wider than that one and the same above there so it's symmetrical. Um, um, I'm not sure if there's any suitable wood out in that pile out there. I'll have a look. I may salvage other bits of wood if I can. Better than watching it go down the dump and be shredded up to be made into that chipboard shit. Because there is actually, there's some, or there was, some long enough 2x4 bits of wood that uh, I was planning on salvaging to make the framework for some homemade tables. And they're already painted, the legs, or the bits of wood, I should say. But I could make the legs and the frame using them. And my stepdad's got plywood. And uh, so if I made the table frame up and then measured it, what I needed for the um, top, he'd cut it and then I could strap it to the top of the car and bring it home. So I think maybe later I'll do that, but I don't know where I'm going to store them. Because they're quite bloody long. Um, I suppose I'll have to bring them straight upstairs. Uh, yeah. So I've got several projects to do. I know this table one for the Lego I've been wanting to do for ages. But uh, hopefully if I can get this wood if it hasn't gone already, you know, if someone else hasn't hyped off with it to use, then uh, I'll grab it and uh, build up the frame. I can find a home for that. Ah, oh, that's what I was... Yeah. I was meant to be looking for um, a DVD rack for those when I was going to car boot sales. I wasn't empty, I completely forgot. That's what I look for when I go to these car boot sales. I just look for anything I know I need, anything I know I'll use, or anything that interests me. I wouldn't Nemo, because it's not balanced up there very well. He has got it in that when that was on the sofa before, and the whole thing has gone toppling onto the floor, because it wasn't balanced on there. Oh, it looks like he's changed his mind. Alright, I'm going to toss this chair back up there. 
a bit of an earache today. Well, not an earache, just a bit of a sore inside my ear. I must have got a little infection or something in there. Right. I have something to eat. Then crack on, finish off in here. Remembering to put my tray back in my little G Tech. I do like these things. Now, if you just want a quick whip round and you don't want to drag out the Hoover and the cable, then just pick up one of these and put the one over your carpet. <laughs> Especially if you've got guests coming and you haven't got the time to clean, because you can just do that and snoop. I've got something wrapped around the brush that I've got to get off as well, I forgot about that. But yeah, that was just an electric carpet sweeper, that's all it is, or floor sweep, because it'll work on any surface you put it on, really. I've used it in the kitchen, which is a tiled surface. That works well on these carpets. But I may have to put new batteries in the battery pack at some point, because they don't seem to be holding out much these days. If I can actually open it up. Good. So I'm going to go and get something to eat now, so. Just thought I'd give you a little update on what I've been up to and what I plan to do this week. Again, you know, usual car boots, we hope. I know it's tiring me and mum out, but uh, we don't have a lot of choice, unfortunately. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again in the next video, which will be pretty soon, I hope. Bye.